Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Sri Lanka here on the Lord Mass Channel, in which, uh, well, there's not much to say other than, um, in the previous episode, um, we did some things, and, uh, even traveled uh, to a grand tournament recently in uh, Cholamandalam in uh, Tanjavur, which is the uh, capital of the Chola Kingdom, a northern neighbor, which, um, <laughs> they suspect more, especially with a cultural acceptance. Um, I mean, look at that as a reminder. Our cultural acceptance at the time, Bill, since I keep doing that constantly, of, oh, get your acceptance up as high as much as you could possibly can. Is that yearly or monthly? Yearly. Yeah. Yearly. Because of cultural benevolence and uh, every time we do these grand tours I always get that option to get that up. Even though it's reduced, I mean in Vani the Tamil culture is reduced to a large minority because of the Sahala people moved in. But there is no um, Sahala minority in Nagadipa. But who knows? It, it could either come from up there or not, or from cross over there if it gets back up there. Whenever it wishes. I mean, there will still be Tamu Buddhists and Vani. But anyways, it's not the point. Um, the point is, is that um, that the reign of Agarada Gajabahu, the marvelous, who is 69 years old, just turned 69, uh, his health is doing poor despite all the health benefits and the fact that he's infirm. But at least uh, I have this perk now, which I don't know when will I pass away exactly. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. I would have loved to become an architect, but that's not possible. But instead, we're just preparing ourselves for my eventual passing. And in the reign of Rajini, who is going to be Mahesi Senia, to be the first female ruler of the Vijayabahu kingdom. In which we do not know yet if she's got uh, physical traits of something that would increase her intelligence as well as her uh, beauty. So we don't know that yet. That's not yet revealed until she's at a certain age where it'll be revealed to us at time. She's already stubborn, but I made her to go towards a martial education, which, by the way, on a note here, in the Dark Ages mod, Women, female characters, um, when they have a martial education, more often than not, they would be switched to a different education because they're not allowed to have martial because you know how you don't typically see women with that kind of education. Unless you are a female character yourself, either by ruler designer or you play as this young character like this one here prior to reaching adulthood. And if you're going for martial education and by the time you reach 16 at the uh, coming of age period there will be an event that pop up that says would you like to change your education to something random or do you want to keep it martial <laughs> so that's why I picked that because I know in my passing it's likely that I will pass before she turns 16 so that will have that option and see if we could keep martial again you guys think ahead of such things but in the meantime we'll continue to you know, support the Sangha and other means. But well, let's just start with holding the court simply for the sake of it, knowing that I'm not going to be around anymore for much longer. A new rival to my court today is one Vikramaditya, an envoy of my acquaintance on Palabharya Aparditya of Kalyani Chalukya, Agarada Gajabal. That has come to the attention of my nature that you are harboring an individual particular, particular interest. Pata Mahesi Surjanbal of Odessa has a legitimate claim to the Kalyani Chalukya Samraji. Vallabhara Aparaditya requests and demands to turn this errant subject of his. 
I sent the crumb teacher out of the room while my cat celebrates. What should we do? Oh, he's a poet. No intrigue, no stewardship. This is the one that you're after. He seems like a nice guy, but a patient. That's my antiquary. Like, not a man of intrigue. As I said, he looks nice to me. So I'll say, refuse to allow Vikrama to take Sujabal. Pantananamase um, Bataraja uh, comes forward, proceeding with marked caution. Your Grace, my Pantanam of Mulativu grows rich by our burgers dealings with the trading ships which ply the heavens along with Jabal's coast. We have made our town and you prosperous and deserve greater influence over Nagadipa. Turn it out to a public vessel. I'll say you ask too much. There must be some other way. 80% chance for this stewardship challenge against them that we find a compromise. And there, we'll have a mercantile charter, which actually hurts to holding tax, which, you know, that is good land. But then again, it's going to be given away to one of my sons. My eldest, in fact. Ah, go ahead. Found a compromise. My lord, this is outrageous. An agitated Pasaladu... Ah, Magama understands Fumaton. The body of my poor father, the recently deceased Vasa Vikram Bahu, has been violated by that fiend you keep as your court physician, Mogala. The that vile monster is tampered with the corpse, he uses to practice obscure knowledge and leave it disfigured or disfaced. He can't go unpunished. Of course, one of looks probably offended by the axes. I've no idea what that man's talking about. Vikrama strong arm, he was my cousin. One of the real good ones. And a good friend. It's also like sacrilegious. God's arrest hold on. Because that man, that was my friend. Was he my best friend? I don't I bring it up. Yes, Argo Body was a very good friend of mine. Go all the way back. Yes, we've been friends for a very long time. Yeah, he was a good friend of mine. Not just my friend, my best friend. Sacrilegious guards arrest him! How dare you do that? That was my best friend, you bastard. Search for a physician for once. No, Rendra. No, no, this is totally new. I was about to say, do I know you? But no, it's someone else named that. No, Rendra, my trusty Rajpuru has been entertaining a pet project of himself at his core. We'll find a network of organizations across my domain that will attempt to improve the lot of the poorest inside my lands. At the cost of this, will at the cost will increase my domain size. I must analyze carefully the whole build to see if funding this network for 10 years will be worth it. Turn and turn. Fund it. It'll benefit. Mm -hmm. I am deeply upset, Agar Radha with Gajabahu. By your um, 
transigence I'm in not acquiescing to my reasonable request of video by my envoy, Vikramadichi, of turning uh, this is well, Marissa to me. Oh, that's what you were talking about. I was trying to look that up. I guess I looked wrong. Beautiful and a poet too. Eager reveler. Hunter. This is hardly an irrational demand, and they have proved themselves to be more reckless than survival than wise. The Vijaya Bahu Aga Rajya surely doomed to an enormous end with such unworthy fools as yourself on the throne. One can only hope that your successor does not take after you. What bitter words are these? You know, just to spite him, I'm gonna bring you over here. You are a lot. Just to have you around. <laughs> This is about as much as you can upgrade. We're still looking for a physician. Finally, my sergeant's found some people who might fit to serve as a court physician. Either way, I can't afford to be picking now. Or, or, terrible. Oh my goodness, none of them are good candidates. This man, however, who's infirm. Oh, come on, that can't be good either. Okay, who's the least bad? How about you? Infirm as well. These are some of the worst candidates in the history of everything. We'll go for him. He's a mystic. You know who's I? Who is a Syrian? But maybe perhaps we can have other alternatives. Since you done double clicked at him. Actually, you might be better. You're a good one. You're the new physician now. Forget whoever the... You're spending much money to get somebody that you need. He's not out of treats. Come on. Consumption. Well, if you say you're a mystic... Only a higher power can save now. I want you to demonstrate to me how does this work. Uh huh. You say the tree was successful? Well, do it again! It worked. Huh. So I think we ought to take into consideration. Trying to go for windmills next, and after that, should go to Castle Bailey's. My antiquarian um, is that uh, approaches me to word expression of face. My lord, I've grown increasingly concerned about your architect drawing, and the state of utter disrepair has fallen into its coming apart. In order to save another proposal, I recently won a dusty scroll at dice from a shady character that traveling in a traveling fair. And, 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 a very fortunate deal. Since its content, content played well into my budding interest in alchemy, the old scroll describes a secret potion that is sure to make any artifact even better than this new. Please let me try it. What makes it better? So your learning skills ten. 
0% chance that it does not dec increase the durability and max durability. 23% chance to increase the durability by 60. 45% durability decreases, decreases by 80. 30% that this architect drawing is destroyed. Repaired. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. cabinet. Uh, I don't think we have much in the way of furniture. I'll, I'll prove that. Very competent in your craft, do you? Go ahead. Give me the money. To my beloved fool. Because she is the one that gave me, you know, the child of the future who oh, I'm still raising it personally my enterprising friend uh, Hesse Boyekadevi of the Jebba who came up today stating triumphantly she pulled a great coup over last year <coughs> over the last year excuse me by soft talking to my vassals, becoming their confider and influence very favorably towards my peasant. Thank you deeply for my for friend for her help. Her mind never quiet. I mean, he started to seek further away than mere opinions. After all, how much does that opinion value? Oh joy, and things I could get even I can even get more interested. How about using the secret sum my vassal shared? What for you get there with the black melon? I'll use the leverage to I'll use the leverage to lever extra text. Now we'll gain a tiny bit of stress. One stress, because I'm honest. And plus, I'm an avaricious person. And I'd like to get money again. The peasant rabble went away, so there is no peasant revolt at all. There isn't going to be one. I received an offer from uh, a Cup took one, a noble woman from here in Tirukamalai. If the letter is to be believed, she's an experienced herbalist who would be willing to share her knowledge in return for room and board. The offer is intriguing. But I know Raj Purohit Narendra is distrustful of charms and potions. He believes that Mara uses them for her own nefarious purposes. I'm always eager to learn something new, especially in this late part of life. I'm an herbalist now. Feeling fine because it does negate infirm. I'm gonna be in my 70s. I'm trying to live as long as I can. Okay. I'm trying to find a will to live. <laughs> During one of our lessons in my daughter's sentence canvas, I noticed a collection of rocks neatly displayed on a shelf. One of the stones stand out of the collection. It is quite rough, but upon close inspection, there is a deeply red brilliant who contained within. She notices my interest, picks it up hands me. You can have it, Father. Oh, thank you. Is that a gem? Oh. Gemstone that was unearthed by Seni in the vicinity of Ajay Rajapur. Okay, spend that money to repair these artifacts. That's where they're gonna go now. The ones I care about the most. Did you see how much that cost? Which one's more important to you? That. Okay. 
Yeah, spend it all. You spent a fortune repairing these artifacts. Now what about core artifacts? In case somebody gets the bright idea. Oh, don't care about that. This, however, gotta be repaired. <laughs> Makes me want to travel again. Now that I'm healthy again. <laughs> but the question is, where? So all you need is an excuse to go out to somewhere. It better be damn good furniture. happen over there. Hey, did you see what I see? Not these wars. Fatimids in Ephesus. They're encroaching up there. Taking advantage of the situation. Kingdom of Maghreb. Support the Sangha as per usual. Frontier monks this time. Back in the 500s. Oh, thanks, Saga buddy. Why the heck not? like to keep the fertility up <laughs> just to show the world that I am that man keep it up with the Middle Eastern community they've been doing good by me Wants to go to Terran Basin. Oh, you got it. I really need to get to travel somewhere. Get the Silk Road merchants and get the heck out of here. I'm 70 years old and I'm feeling fine. Hmm. Who do you think you are, huh? You know, that gives me the idea. Since he's going in Tarn Basin. Like, what about places like up here? Ah, far off from it to go to. It's time has come for me to depart my own adventure. I got to put a Orhan. Files as well as you can while I'm weighed down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me. Is there anything specific you wanted me to keep in on field while during my journey? Oh, you're evenly skilled for just about anything. You are ready, sir. I want to possess truly something unique. Something good. You're going to Terran Basin? Maybe I should go over there as well. <laughs> I mean, there's this kind of code town, but it doesn't consist of all of it. Maybe yeah, I ought to travel to the Silk Road.
is traveling. University visit. How long would that take? Two years. For there and back. Well, there's these other places in India that you've not gone there yet. Infirm. Need someone better. I can't trust you. I need a new caravan master. Sorry. Don't travel yet. God, I'm tired of spending money. Then I need to make some back. As per my request, my servants assemble two options for me to consider the role as caravan master. My player is said to be more experienced to do, but the center is, of course, cheaper. Average, average. Oh, great. You'll do, Apa. You seem to know what you're doing. As I said, I need to get the heck out of here. I'll go pay a visit to that. But let me travel in my way. We we'll travel by land to go through here. And then go by the sea. And then we'll be there. Up the Indus we will go. And yeah, you'll go up the mountains. Then you'll be headed into Khotan. Near, and then you'll reach there, and then go pay a visit to the famous Mogao Caves, and then come back. To where? Well, for starters, to Kotan, and then go down this way. Ha! Huh. These two places we ought to go through there. Okay. Yes. Yes. so god dang rich after this it'll be three years travel it'll cost you 62 but we're gonna make some back start the travel it's the Italian man so there's me the captain the court and uh, 
cover master. My bodyguards will be with me, and my court physician as well. It is nightfall, and Romini is hard at work when we arrive at the zero fields in South of Panama. She appears to be flattening crops at a rapid pace, using a large flat of piece of wood and heavy stones. I frown as I watch her perform her labor, and inquire what exactly she's up to. She went to the start of the long round about how we need to wake up and meet our true master instead of hiding the false hiding behind the false Buddhist teachings. I think it's too stuff I get surprised. Stop that, you heretic. Remember, I will hit go home in case my Silk Road merchant dies. We don't want that to happen like the last time. Ooh, no, 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 no. My god, man, leave me alone. The peace of my spirit is shattered by Agavoga yelling as storms to his quarter. Svetoslav so quickly falls but stops uh, when he sees me. My age plates talk to some sense sent to Hagabag. I'm trying to help out since I've experienced that maybe will work. Leave her alone. She's doing fine. I don't want you to muck it up. You eat it. Message from your adventure, Orhan, the servants of enemy school. My search has led me to the oasis of Kashgar. They are notoriously bear infested. Bear from the mountains, I assume? I have good reason to think that my gold is near. Expect my return soon. Signed, Orhan. Sports. You surely ambitious to choose such a risky path. Orhan's knowledge should be enough to keep him safe. He has successfully avoided any bears. I know there are snow leopards up there. Also, by the way, on this note, since I'm still playing on the old version before the Legacy of Persia came out, I want you people to bear in mind that, that the mod that I'm using with rice and this whole thing with the uh, Silk Road trade thing that I've been doing. Uh, every time I keep doing a haggle, haggle, haggle. Because of your high diplomacy and high stewardship. They have recently nerfed that. My beneficiary vows. Well, I'll have a critique of the cabinet. I missed a craft thing for you, my lord. She takes her to the workplace where it is concerning only a dusty, beaten up cupboard. Oh, that isn't the piece. So I want a ragged cupboard. And and inside is nothing but a tiny model cup. Ornate. Stone gilded about the height of my finger. What do you think? For your sake, this better be only a prototype. Don't need that thing. Could have picked that Southeast Asian uh, community just to have those ship builders just to help us knowing that we were going to be out at sea like that. Leave the Liberty Faction. Age the adventurer Orhan sends word. The seventy exclaims. For ten days and ten nights, me and my party's been hiding the bandit lord um, Zebu. Uh, set a bucket on the road in Australia. 
What are your advice? Caution? Or should we fight them? Trusting Allah to keep us safe, signed Rohan. Ah, the parchment reads. Seems to be quite a predicament. Let's get a look at this. No guts, no glory. Make them pay waste my time. Zero percent chance that he gets wounded or killed. Thirty-three percent chance that Moran boils and cleans scald sends to meet his artifact. And the artifact that he's looking for will be of higher quality. Six six percent chance he successfully draws off the bandits. And slightly higher quality. Slightly higher quality. My lord, look at that wood. The grain, the dead here. I've never seen such fine quality before. My beneficiary, Alga Burger, breaks away from the market recession to cost the rich sun and a covered eye. A static of a. Oh, fine. At this, my project would reach new heights. I create something truly marvelous. That's my nickname. Please, my Agarada, bestow this gift upon me. Oh, you got it. I want some damn good furniture, whatever it may be. You did send me a prototype of a cabinet, so could it be a cabinet? Twenty thousand piety. I am truly a religious man. I receive a mission from my adventure with words um, involved, so I could see him in the theater of my mind. At mist, my panting in a desert heat, uh, I have discovered some pristine waters, which the very sight of which compelled me to remove all my clothing. Rather than take it as an offense, my guide chuckled in a quiet understanding. I began to sketch my form on a page. A fellow travelers on tour of uh, waved palm leaves to cool me down. An act of fan service. We spent many happy hours flashing around in the next village. I hired a weaver to capture the moment of paradise. And I send you a memory with this uh, courier. <laughs> New depiction of Orhan at a beach oasis, fanning himself with a leaf, glistening with crystal clear droplets. How old are you? 43? Well, uh, you're traveling. I'll just say the whole court must know of this exotic pastime. I'm sure there's some lustful women here that would like to see that. <laughs> there it is. A cabinet of masterful craftsmanship. It is constructed from tape panels. The wood is sanded to a smooth finish. This is lovely. It's only gonna be around for 20 years, so put that cabin over here. Dedicated to my beloved food. That's no cabinet. What the heck is that? Although, to be fair, that person was a Mozart. Um, so, this is obviously Iberian influenced, no doubt. What it could look like, right? Rather than what it's supposed to look like, or what an Indian cabinet should look like. And again, you do live in a maritime Silk Road, so goods from East and West do come here. Failed for once. If who's no longer my wet nurse, get me a good one. Because all my wives are old. At least I think. The procession is ground to a hold the stone store away from Junabama. I look over to see my friend Father Boys dismounted and tenderly staring at Sana on the ground. The other entourage members got around. Father Boys looks up as I approach. 
My lord, there's an ant path here. I may be a tired superstitious, but you should never cross an ant path. He pauses. My great grandfather did. And he never returned home. This is nonsense. I'll take over his guide. He got lost for five days. It's alright, I know a cure. Good, good. Up for the experience, Kumara Data. Learning skill, that's why. Eek! Is my health gone poor again? No. Remember, you still got those two health-related modifiers. I'm only traveling because I just want to get a lot of money before I die. And so my daughter gets to inherit everything. That's the idea here. Time for a break from Senna's routine, that's fun. I think it would be a good time to pass along some values of house for Jabarda. Eleven percent increased march eighty eight increased diplomacy. That she did. Bank! I have heard tell of the military exploits of the legendary Hindustani mercenaries and passing through out. I am fortuitous enough to come across a highly skilled mercenary commander. Gundus tells itself as being the most terrifying warrior of all the steppe and would be honored to serve for the right price. Gundus the Hindustani. Oh my goodness! And the right price he shall have. Of course I'm willing to spend a fortune to get this man. Two Mega Mans now. Pay dirt. The Hindustani storytellers of Karo. Uh, greatly renowned, and when I finally meet them, they don't disappoint. We spend many hours sitting around the fire, listening to their stories. It is a true joy to hear them speak. Apparently, the uh, traditions of the Hindustani culture, which is pretty widespread, as this was a hybrid culture between Ugo's Turks and the uh, Punjabi. That's how it came to be. They're using both names. They have the storytellers, that's the reason why. And, uh, Mercy We Hardwick is because they have swords for hire. They got that from the Ugos. And the storytellers? Well, that comes from the Panjani. They're gonna become xenophilic, so they'll have no negative opinions of other cultures, so at least they're the nicer people that they're gonna be. If you like stories, you will love this one. Thank you. I caught these two hiding in a pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my daughter Senia and Vijaya Bahu, uh, Amara Sakara, in tow. 
They stole a whole keg of mead, and Senna just sat there, um, as Terrible drank himself to near oblivion. Says angrily, It seems if my lord protected her partner, crying, keeping a lookout while abstaining from any drink herself. You know, tempered is a virtue. It was very good of you to abstain from that drink. Plus it adds a health bonus. She'll have a long life ahead of her that I could see. Stewardship related. So this is the one I wanted. So therefore there can be no chance of a peasant revolt going on in my domain. For as long as I live. As I'm 71, still feeling fine. I'm the man who refuses to lie down and go away. That is Gajabahu in a nutshell. An avaricious man who refuses to lie down and go away. University of Srinagara. This'll do. Get Iron Constitution and I'll live longer. Again. So you got four years, but there's plenty of places to travel to further increase your um, learning experience. No longer my Seneschal. Okay. That was my brother. Died a decrepit old man. <laughs> Who are you talking to? You are a decrepit old man yourself. You're just somehow lucky to be alive for another couple of years. And once you get Iron Constitution, that means you get to live possibly close to 80 at this point. A fine day like this. The weather is nice. The pastures of holiday look great. And local livestock are positively jumping and cheering in their own guttural manner. Cows are walking next to their mothers, the fur shiny and clean. Overall, the place could very competently run, though I do notice a couple of oddities that would manage a bit differently. The local matriarch approached me. A fine morning team, my lord. Are these videos not a sight of a hold? You know, I'm development crazy. So, yeah, for the next 15 years here. I could buy some of these back home. Thanks to his diligent efforts, my caravan master, Apaya, found a safe shortcut in Aldi, which we could use to reduce the time of our quite a bit. How fortunate. Seven days ahead. I'm in a tower basin now. I wonder what my Turkic adventurer is gonna get. Yeah. My oh lord, my rather put a Nazis as a rival. Was promised a lot of voice. He probably holds up a package secure after. I return for the tower basin with an artifact for my journey. I take the bulky bundle to my hands, loosen the cords of healing layer after layer of fabric. This size is an artifact unlike anything else. Or had smiles by them. One of the authentic nine swords of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He would say that because he's shy. This is Al Mikana. Passed by Muhammad. Peace be upon him. To his cousin and son law Ali ibn Abi Talib. But keep in mind, I'm not a Muslim, so I won't get these benefits, which would be excellent. Instead, we get a bit of prowess. And some court grandeur bonus in additional prestige game. That is magnificent. How did one of those swords end up in the Tarn Basin? I mean, obviously there are a few Muslim realms. Yeah, these two in particular. But anyways, put it on display. Yeah. 
That condition will never deteriorate. Pass through Kotan, a once prosperous Buddhist city. Even though it's full of Muslims now, there's still Kotanese people, while the Buddhists are basically a minority. Hunchback person. Oh, you are coming on with me, Gundus. Traveling in a desert winter, huh? It's been 100 years. Well, as soon as it's September, it'll be officially 100 years. So it's 100 years since uh, since we started this playthrough. Tell me, my future wise one. Bad omen, he says. What are you talking about? I'm still feeling fine. Oh, another adventure. You, another legendary man who's, ho oh, ho, very skilled. A ton of adventure this time. Willing to spend a fortune on that. Going to Southern Europe. That could mean Italy or the Balkans. Gift of Entertainers, thank you very much. Not quite there yet. We'll finally reach to the capital of the Kingdom of Kotan. Give me something truly unique. We found the Sword of Muhammad, so hopefully you find some unique Christian artifact from Europe. Alright, I arrived in Chalkik. My host, Irikut Ku of Kotan, is surprised of how far I've traveled. He's wondering what I plan to do here. Well. Oh. See if we can establish trade between us. Trade blossoms. <laughs> Always an avaricious man I am. Now we can wait here while we still make trades here. Yeah, my Chara daughter from a various hunch. Go ahead. Still a long way from home. In the meantime, should be investing in these. Oh, I know what to invest. Remember, you weren't done with this. The so-called era of the temple builders. Invest in these. You're gonna make all that money back on the way home. Yes. leave here and head home. It's going to be two years to travel back home. On our way through Miran, we could have stumbled into a local food market 
Everywhere, peasants and nobles of every culture and tongue climb around the exotic food stalls. The air is thick with fragrances I never had imagined. My nose is drawn to a lowly stall stacked with a dish I could only dream of. I'm pulled out of my haze by the halting grass of Captain Lavrenjo Vyman of the company of the staff. Do not waste your palate on this slot, my lord. Bowls of Botu are for peasants with much finer foods than I'm the Agarada and I want my bowl. It was a good one. Can't we all just get along? I spent quite a fortune and I'm ready to make all that money back on the way home. <laughs> That's the kind of man I am. I refuse to lie down and go away. I never want my golden era to end. I always try to find a to make me feel comfortable, make me feel better about myself. And plus, I want to see my daughter become a woman when I try to live as a hawk. Because heaven forbid that we would get a, uh, a child ruler. It seems that our caravan has become a little lost these four nights. I thought I was trailing us around Nahud for hours. He appears to swallow pride and ask for directions. He does not appear to be an expert Yan Han Yu speaker. That's Chinese. Let me try. All right. I interpreted these instructions. So, pass through Shazao, also known as Dang Huang. Make a visit to the famous Mogao Caves, these Buddhist caves. There. A thousand Buddha grottles of Dang Huang. Yeah, it's a very important. Buddhist site for, for that part of the area. I have seen the world and beheld its many wonders in my travels, but never have beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in Shazo. Truly, Han women are cut up of all the rest. One particularly fascinating specimen I've taken my eyes is like a peasant woman by the name of Baozu. Um, a pretty little, pretty little paddle. She's far too pleased in mind to spend her days slaving away in this. You know, Gajabahu loves his Chinese women. There is room for one more wife. We must marry at once. You'll join me. <laughs> Darling. Poor. Still feeling fine at 72. But I'll definitely be more than fine when I reach our constitution just to get further away from the negative effects of being infirm. Prolonging my life further. Oh, I forgot. Um, Castle Bailey's. That. It'll be eight years till we get this innovation. And plus, you know what that means. As we make money along the way, more space. Oh, now you got windmills and watermills now. That's new. I never had that before. Supply, holding tax, building construction cost, holding construction cost. Don't have concentric castles here. That's something we're trying to work on. This one's a reduction of this while having the holding tax up. Mm. Oh, I really don't care about uh, the construction costs huh? because you know where we get our money from these days. So go for the windmills. Start with those for the holding tax. It is indeed the most prosperous era that Tamapani has ever experienced.
Ever since entering uh, Chalk Creek, I've been treated much like an animal in this spectacular garden. Um, the people stare in amazement at mere way I speak and carry myself. As I make our way through, I'm suddenly approached by a peculiar, enthusiastic man who, unlike the rest of the crowd, seems to speak Sihala. My word, so true. It's Sihala Agarada here of all places. I've long admired Sihala customs. I've learned Sihala in my own time. What an honor it is. Well, I'm too old to be learning languages, but I believe the reason why they're acting like that is because, uh, xenophilic, I would have to assume. The honor is all yours. I can't be learning languages. More entertainers. You're too much. Stop to camp outside a small village in Indera. Locals come to rescue our caravan. At first, I think you're, they are trying to trade with us, but as soon as it comes clear, they come to give us gifts and learn everything they can about our culture. One local in particular, Songo, has a million questions about where we're from. That's Xenophon. We'll take in every benefit we can. Thank you very much. More gold is always uh, appreciated. Five months. Turn this through Coke Town. Huh? My lord, I've found a few trite relics so far in my adventures, which I've sent this which I have sent this career. But I'm not sure what I may uncover next. The Europeans are the smelliest creatures I have ever encountered. As a child I dreamed of a of a green and pleasant meadows, but I'm convinced that half of this world is made of mud. If your grace is liege, please send word to call me back. Fingernails of St. Margaret. This isn't a holiday. Quest on. What the heck is... That's plus one prowess. Saint Margaret of Antioch was famed for slaying a dragon using the heels of her shoes alone. Supposedly these old disgusting fingernails cuts belonged to her. Santa Agarada got Jabago by him during his uh, adventures. Oh give me something good. What does Southern Europe have to offer for me? I return from Southern Europe with an artifact of my journey. I take the bulky bun, and my hands are loose in the course of peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside lies an Italiano battle axe. An Italian battle axe. He proceeds to retell the story of how this weapon came into possession. The story of many twists and turns, some less probable than others. This is an inventory artifact, not a court artifact, but inventory. Plus six promise. Plus 12 night effect, plus 12% night effectiveness, and plus 16 enemy casualties. A battle axe of masterful crushing. The wrought iron head has been etched to feature different Theravada motifs. This is deliberate, that, they, that you probably put it on that. <laughs> then mounted on a sturdy olive wood hand. It is expertly balanced and easiest to swing as a sharp. Thank you very good much! This is way better than this old sword. Put that on. 
That's the ultimate weapon. One would think. My prowess has gone up again. Hmm. And what would the effects be if it were to be, uh... If it were to be reforged, what would it be, the effects? Not as desirable, except for the fatal casualties. Iron Constitution. Huge boost of disease resistance, so I'm much more healthier now to get away from the effects of infirm as soon as possible so I can live long enough so I can raise my daughter who has become a bit callous as of late. Hmm. I wish I could change her attitude, but who am I to judge? I've noticed that Gundas avoids me more than usual. He always sits the opposite end of the table whenever we invite to a feast. It consistently refuses my company while we're camping. We not we may not have the best relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me. Especially when we're here on the Gajaba is the hardest man. I'd be a way better Aga rather than him. Is that the wind I hear? It is known that the Panjani people are ardent believers in the Shari faith and do not take kindly to non-believers. Nevertheless, Brahmapura is on a route and so we must pass through. Quickly though, the villagers' vengeful eyes set upon us like a hyena prowling its me. Before we have a chance to react, the uh, local amount descends upon us of a mob of raging fanatics. Screech up our alerts from heretical beliefs and then we pay atonement to pass through these holy lands. Well, Shine, it is you who is the heretic. You want to make something wondrous? Okay, Doke. Perhaps an instrument of learning and knowledge, for once. Okay. We stopped by a town of Kalo for a quick rest. This town is known for local, locally for its amenities of being the center of leisure. And several of the guards in my entourage got distracted by the pretty local Panjani girls. We need to go soon. But perhaps it wouldn't be a bad idea to rest some more. Go ahead. Yeah, she became callous. I, I don't like that. I mean, I wish I could give her... I was about to say, what is more suitable? Calm. Calm will do. I'll give her calm. I approach my daughter saying with a question. What is power? Having rather put on Noah's edge command, lost my fair shawl today, and nobody seems to care. Power begins with power over oneself, I exam. By looking at others, by becoming up and lash out your several away feelings of hopelessness and foolishness. It's dead. Breathe deep and find clear judgment. After moments of all senses, I will try. That's my girl. Now keep well in mind. You cannot have four traits. So that means one of them's gotta go. Or even calm. So keep an eye on it. Windmills constructed. Keep it up. So what we build is a simple windmill. Simple vertical sails added on top of the animal crank to mill. Not to add to the power to mill, but also to preserve the strength of the beast of burden along. Now building animals, which are vertically positioned windmills, with one half of the windmill shielded from the wind. This ensures that the upwind sails are not pushing against the town. Going. Sh 
She has changed her culture from time of the Sihala. Perhaps out of convenience. The massive chopping block in the middle of the logging camp in Kadwara. Has seen as much use. It looks like it's always been there. Even before man walked this earth. My shoulders are tense and my form travels slightly. From the build-up stairs as I approach the magnificent wooden trunk. I carefully place the piece of discarded timber at the podium. Once with motion and raise my axe. Oh no, don't do that. Don't want to chop my own leg off. That would be stupid of me. Sore muscles at all sorts, bros. It's very counterproductive. It's like, no, manual labor is beneath me. I'm too old for this shit. Something has been watching me ever since we stepped foot in the jungle. I was like, come on. I've seen a glint in your eyes. The rustling leaves. It's following me. Stalking me. Hunting me. The man I sent out to find it didn't come back. What is this creature looking in the emerald depths of the jungle? I hate this. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me home, please. attention. Ah, oh, so close to being an architect. I don't know if I will be able to get all this. I mean, that would be very, very grand. Like, do you want to risk health reduction just to become an architect? Because that was my original life goal. You know what? Do it! Because you have a huge health boost. Go back to... Oh, your stewardship's high enough as it is. So, well focused, because why the heck not? I'll try to be an architect within the next four years. Always to my beloved Fu. My favorite woman in the world. Just the tonic. He sleeps. Carefree. I'm a renowned silk grub merchant now. Been that way for some time, actually. Journey has been long and tiresome, and my feet ache so much that the answers must feel. As I'm about to collapse from exhaustion, I feel something <laughs> heavy way on my neck. Before long, I'm adorned head to toe in traditional Rati Kanadiga garbs. The streets come alive with jubilation. Every house head beckons me to come inside and rest my weary laurels. It only take a moment to regain my stamina, and I'll be welcome as a guest on. I'm Rate Kanadiga, hospitality is legendary, but can I really afford not to see it for myself? Perhaps just short rest. That's more than a short rest. That's five months. Six months, in fact. But we're doing it just to buy more time for Silk Road trade. Oh, check your daughter's traits. 
She's still got four. Three years. It's possible I may give her another trait. If I remember. And if I'm alive by that time. I vow to become an architect. That was my life's goal originally. Before infirmary tries to take over me. During my trials, I've come to realize that the Telugu people, the locals here in Kamap, value wars above all else. Squabbles are subtle with violence, and those who put their life on the line for their realm is considered the bravest. I spend one I spend much one afternoon discussing with them some of the finer points of their warlike culture. Can you show me some moves? <laughs> I still got it. I know a cure. Because I'm both a high learner and an herbalist. So no problem. that Hindustani man. Either or, it's gonna work. My poor is home to the famous voice trying to have it to be passed by today. Local cells is uncommon for travel. Spent a few days praying now. For it is said that doing so will ensure safe passage for one strength. I'm unsure how helpful for this to be, but at least pay my respects to Dada over here. Leave a half ring here. Forge a goblin. Go ahead. Ditch! Strong enough. Some members of my entourage. I'll talk about making a short stop, get some fresh water and rest of There's a stone bridge on the path towards a couple of men rest with their backs against the parapet. One hits on the other side and points at a group. A third man comes up from the shore, another looks up to a step to spinning in the room. You know, he says, this is actually a toll bridge. Fireboards show him. Good. Alright, what you got here? Whips off the current eye of my eyes, grow eyes, and see what's in there. An intricate astrological device, a very fine craftsmanship. The rings are carved from roadwood, rosewood in the electric, and a model of the main area crafts of imprim and wondrous detail. Dedicated to food. What an interesting looking thing. Masterwork furniture. Scientific apparatus. Get rid of this damn old thing and put that on here. Monthly learning lifestyle experience. Oh, that thing is about as big as a man. Some interesting renovations we've been making. Ranamada, the local captain, a few of his officers greet me Montage, as I enter the military camps of Rameshvaram. I quickly dismount, eager to inspect the local barracks. They are positively brimming with activity. 
soldiers all, all around. At least he didn't know their exact purpose and have a clear direction as to where they're headed. I know. Free shame of organized chaos, I'm sure. Now, what would my lord want to do next? No one looks like expecting me. What is that contraption? Now we're in familiar territory. Dedications are overrated anyway. Unless it involves my lovely foo. Rotating wind sails. With a bit of ingenuity in the design, returning sails rotate swiftly against the wind. Keep building, keep investing in this to further improve the local economy here. Wait, look at the tanks! Tough soldier. Okay, okay, look, look at here. Come on, come on. Which one are you? Younger, younger, younger. Her. Despite the fact she suffers some consumption, and she's malnourished. I mean, yeah, she doesn't look good. But... Look, she got the martial education. Watch it change. It'll change in the event in due time. Let's do it at a reduced cost. Thank goodness. It may change in a month or so. If it doesn't change, then it's a rare instance where a female character gets to keep the, uh, martial education. When it hits June 1st, I'll stop looking at it. Here or out. It's just a goblet. It's not that special. Oh, we can upgrade these further. Excellent. Didn't know that. That's because of the economy buildings, that's why. And I still have long life to live, so invest all this for the renown gain. And I'm going to be the architect soon. Means we can improve Trinko. Still has four traits. Her intrigue just increased. I want to see up a little bit further. Still don't know if she's either smart and beautiful or none at all. Not till two years. She's 12. So. Still be a teen, so it's possible I may have to give her another one of those. Perhaps honesty, despite being cast. She'll have a contradictory. Perhaps just give her patience instead. Mm. It's a big improvement on me. Tax income. It's like, sure, he gets the money, but you know, the tax income you know, goes to me in this holding. And adds more development growth within this county. I'm curious as to when is. Oh, yeah. I forgot. That thing is an option. Next year. Get Trinko to a city center.
Reduces his taxes to me and pays it to me. Hmm. Not what I had in mind. No change. I'm darning, leave it to the experts. Isn't there a couple of people that they could demand payment for or not? Your almsgiving ceremony. What are you patron of? I like you. There's another one of my brothers. Thirsty clay. My health is doing poor now. Okay. And and very soon, um, those health modifiers that I've had for a good couple of years should expire soon. Huh? Oh yeah, they'll expire next year, so I'm gonna be going soon. Yeah. What else? There's another thing. Down to our fresh air. Fresh air. Find fresh air. This is down to our... Where is fresh air? Oh, here it is. Okay, that's going to stay. So it looks like it'll be in my mid-70s is when it's finally my time to go. And she'll be in her mid-teens by then. Hopefully live long enough till we reach uh, June of 1170. She'll still be a teen by then, and I'll try to give her the patient trait. I don't think I should give her honest to go along with callous. Because the opposite of honest is deceitful, so that doesn't negate that. Not talking about modifiers, talking about personality. Because I don't want to give her, you know, decisions that's going to cause to go one way where she'll be, you know, pretty contradictory. You know, stress related. Years. Maybe I should stop investing in those temples because you're not going to get the renown once it's all done. A ceremonial goblet of very fine craftsmanship. It is made of bone with moonstone inserts. That's it? So how the tapestry is gone. Well, <laughs> here's a new tapestry from Morhan. Hitting wind sails. We'll soon invest in windmill water wheels by using wind power to turn the water wheel, thus generating water flow in a canal or a simple wooden pipe. A grinding and milling of stones uh, can be placed in more accessible locations. Please, let me be the architect before I pass, so that we can build all these things faster. In fact, look at what it'll do for me. Holding and building structures to not only cheaper, but also faster. Curious. Hang on. Let time take along while I look something up. Ikmanin. Ikmanin, you know, means faster in Sinhala. 
Okay, what about Tamu? Vekamaka. Vekamaka is faster in Tamil. Again, you have to say two official languages in this country. You gotta know both. Well, the science back to being Tamil again because um, those people from there has moved over here and brought uh, Sri Shaktism over here. I don't think there's any Sahala up there, is there? No. No Sahala. A lot of mixed Hindus up there. Mixed sects of Hinduism. We gotta support the Sangha again. Because I just remember what's supposed to do next. Oh yeah, construct irrigation tanks. Keep saving. She got her learning up. Is she allowed to keep that many personality traits? Which again, I plan on giving her patient. Although it would have been nice to give her honest and she would have been the most virtuous Buddhist one we've ever had. But oh, there is a dark side to this person. But I hope she would get rid of it one day. Here we go. Architect. Just what I want it to be. Works of an experienced builder will stand for centuries. Can't change again until three years. Don't know if I have three years. has increased big time. <sighs> Shave off a few months. Not on our market tech. don't have your menial health boosts anymore. She recovered from consumption. Fedor Daka be praised. She endured. Thank you for your generous gift. This one we ought to have. Walk in the sacred path. Your pilgrim and trait experience will go up 50 plus 50 percent. And pilgrimages are 50 percent cheaper now. Gain plus two learning per unique holy site of the faith visited. Up to the maximum of plus ten. So that means you are encouraged to go to Bodh Gaya and Sarnath.
I'm an old man, got nothing left in me anymore. <laughs> Must live long enough to give her patience. There goes that old fruit brandy from Serbia. We're really progressing with Mahavihara. Remember, the goal is 900. Building blocks. My son, Agabodi, takes certainly takes their duties as raw architect seriously. He's passionate to debate my Barakaria, but I don't know if the Raja dominates the room. Yes, precisely, Agabodi. The ruins, the a rife of cut stone that could easily transfer to Agarada's Doga and Sagaria. Let the Raja of Chindavli. Still, sounds like a lot of work. Our locals who use those materials won't like it. Agabody rolls his eyes at this reasonable rebuttal. But it's cut off by my Rajpuri. The nearby temple of Bagamuna is in dire need of expansion. I just squeals. That's where the rebels should go. He will go to Siddhartha's house in Bagamuna. I lose stress because I'm an architect and I love building things. Could do a grand tour again, but can't do that. Gonna pass away sooner or later. Plus, money's going elsewhere. It takes six months to to get these windmill water wheels up. By using wind power to turn the water wheel, thus generate water flow in a canal or a simple wooden pipe, the grinding and milling of stones can be placed in more accessible locations. This is definitely going to help the local economy here. When when the ruler rules the single county once once again. June 20th, remember. Let's do it at a reduced cost. It's an economically important area. Traits trigger. Oh, okay, so it's too many traits then. Never mind then. Say it's 14 now. Two years. It's coming of age. And she'll have a great education. And I just hope that I live long enough to see that. You 
got it. It's two years to change it back to medicine, which would be ideal. You know, attempting suicide is very bad because you lose not only with the level of devotion, but the dynasty loses their level of splendor, which is the last thing you would ever want to do for anything. Wait a minute. I remember something. I saw something somewhere. Because you're all about prolonging your life. Isn't there one of those deities that could give me a small health boost? I don't know. Because even with that small health boost, they keep the infirmary away. And plus, each time you do that, Provincial Monastery goes down by 5, so it's a small reduction. It doesn't hurt, though, that much. Even if you do that, that small hub boost isn't going to be enough to keep that away. But do you want to live another year? Till she comes of age? Yes. Let's do that. No need to read the text, I've read it all that before. Plus, we're very far away from degeneration at this point. It is my right and response to determine what coinage should be used of Drell of Ejibo. The choices I make will determine um, the coinage and the extension of my realm is seen throughout the world. D based according to the expensive nickel. 100% chance for new silver coins minted and gain. If I, I'll take the less honest route, because I'm avaricious. See, not enough. Though you might live a little bit more of a year or so. But that remains to be seen. By the Mara, you know, shame guards trying to be. Yeah, let's see what's going on. We'll end this episode at uh, January. Because, to be real honest, I thought this episode would be the last time we will see this character. But, no. That's going to be for the next one. And in that next episode, we will finally have that first ever female ruler in our dynasty's history. Which, fortunately, we're able to avert the possible crisis of having a child ruler in the throne. Which would be ran by Regency. And if I were to drop now, then it'll be two years of Regency. Two years less. Just save up your money, because you're going to need it. Damn, I would love to invest more, but health's too poor. Just be content with what you get with here. Okay, we'll end this episode here. This is where we are at this point. For Mahavihara, the one that we wanted to get to the... I was about to say the promised land. To the goal to unite the Sangha. But we need... 350 some odd more. To get to 900. And then, after United Sangha, 
That'll be the official end of the series. So in the next episode, we will finally see the reign of Gajabahu come to an end. And the beginning of the reign of Senia, who's stubborn, temperate, callous, but calm. With the intelligence and beauty traits uncertain, if she has any at all. We don't know that yet. So we'll be learning a bit more about her in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.